Hi, I'm Steve from Rinker Boats. Today we're looking at Rinker's 21QX. This boat is 21 feet overall in length. And this particular boat has an extended swim platform, which is a popular option in this model. You pick up two extra feet and a great lounging area back here in the stern of the boat. It's got a three-step stainless steel ladder for boarding and entry. It has a standard ski toe tie-off right here. The big platform in the back uh, for sunbathing, lounging, hanging out, sitting, cruising. The side walkthrough, this cushion pops up, makes it easy to walk through into the cockpit of the boat. It's got a handy jump seat here that pops up and stabilizes in the back so you can lounge back in here. A couple of cup holders make it handy for drinks or suntan lotion or whatever you got going there. And then we have a handy built-in trash container receptacle right here for all your trash needs. Here in the cockpit of 23QX we start out with a nice large engine compartment in the back here. Simply pull up, pop out, 4.5 Mercruiser engine in this boat. You got your batteries over in here. Got a lot of working room ever needing to get down into here to work on the boat inside winterizing. This is a storage container we pointed out in the stern. See how deep that is and it's easy to remove, to clean out, empty, etc. Oh, this kind of reveals underneath this transom walkthrough that there's a big storage area. This goes just as deep as the engine compartment all the way to the bottom of the hull. And it's got a plastic liner in there to keep things dry and make it easy to clean out. Dust or debris gets in there. Got this bench style seating in the back of the boat. You got multiple seats. You got storage under both sides of the seat. And then under the middle section, there's actually a cooler that, space right in there. So you can fit your cooler for all your beverages on your uh, boat during the day. As you move up towards the helm, both of the helm chairs are rotating, slide forward and backwards. They both have dual bolsters moving up and down. At the helm itself, you've got a goosey steering wheel that's tilt. This is standard on all our boats as well. You've got a comfortable position for your throttle controls, forward and backwards. You've got a nice helm. Uh, all your buttons right here, easy touch. Nice eyebrow up at the helm. Kind of more of a decorative look, sleek look inside. This boat has analog gauges in it. On the passenger side of the boat, again, you got a flip up bolster seat. There's a big uh, map locker in here, so it's got nice depth to it for throwing and storage uh, things in there. There's also a USB port in here to charge cell phones or to input a stereo connection if you're not using the kicker head stereo system's Bluetooth features and capabilities. Along the sides of the cockpit, you also have uh, storage in here along with drink holders recessed back into here. Kicker stereo speakers are also in line out of the way uh, and protected there, but still produce great sound quality in here. There is LED lighting controls in both the cockpit and the bow. So if you need some nighttime lighting to move around or uh, look for stuff, uh, you can flip that switch and turn those little blue LED lights on.